Friday. So today I am making the boys some um, ground, I bought some ground turkey um, for a very good deal at Sam's Club um, a couple days ago. So I'm cooking it in my sorry cooker here. Just added water to it. I've made them um, ground turkey before. I just boiled it on the stove, but I'm just putting it in here in my cooker here. It'll cook for six hours, and then I'll just use my, oh, this thing here. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> this thing here to chop up the meat um, to make it in smaller pieces. So. That's what they're going to be getting for the next couple days when my chicken runs out. I've got a l couple, oh, my microwave's done. Um, I've got a couple dishes left with chicken and I thought I'd switch it up to turkey. It's very lean, um, ground white uh, turkey meat. So that's what they're going to be having in the next week or so, for the, for the next week or so. And they'll like it. Nobody had problems with this. Um, a couple people asked me um, if cauliflower and broccoli, uh, which I barely put any cauliflower in, um, if the cauliflower or the broccoli has made them have gas. And no, it has not. <laughs> Actually, um, nothing in the homemade has given them gas. I haven't noticed gas at all. So, which is very good because my boys would have gas every now and then. So. Homemade is doing really good, like I said yesterday in our video. Do you need to go out, Milo? Do you need to go out? Let me come around this way since he's drink, drinking water. Oh, I didn't show you guys my new couple of signs in here. I think I posted this one on Facebook. I found these at Hobby Lobby. And isn't this one the truth? <laughs> and then um, I already had this one for the kitchen. And then we found this one here. And then this one here. I thought they were really cute, so I hung them up here. By our kitchen rules. <laughs> All right, you guys gotta go out. Milo, I'm having a problem with. He's something's in that shed, and he's wanting to dig a hole by the side of the shed. His face was all dirty after I gave him a, all a bath yesterday. Look at, they're gonna run. Yeah. He was on this side of the shed trying to dig a hole earlier, and his face and his mouth was completely black. <laughs> Yeah, they're interested. Something going on over there. Milo, don't you dig a hole. Bad puppies. Bad puppies over there. I'm gonna have to put fencing up over there if they keep messing over there. We just need this shed to go away. Yes, just too many places now where rodents can get into it because it's it's deteriorating. It's old, so uh, I don't know how old it is, but the wood's deteriorating, like I said, and stinks of pee and poo in there from rodents, and we just store our um, lawn tractor and lawn equipment in there right now, so yeah, hopefully he stops digging over there, because <laughs> his face was just black in the front and his mouth from, from sniffing over there. Oh, he's got a bone. He found a bone in the yard. Maybe that'll distract him. All right, I'm gonna go eat my lunch. We'll be back. Are you boys ready to come in? Are you ready to come in? Is it hot out there? <laughs> come on. Let's go, let's go. It's like it's lunchtime, Mom. Well, not really. You got another 15 minutes, really. Is it hot, Max? Was it hot out there, Max? Was it so hot? Yes, you need to get a drink of water. You better get a drink. You better get a drink of water, yes. Okay, so a lot of people wanna know how to tell uh, Marley, Miggy, and Mozzie apart. So I'm gonna go try to sit them on the chair together um, and get a, get a shot of them together. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> Max, you better get a drink. You better get a drink, Max. Everybody's gonna drink all the water. Okay, I got all three sitting here. Um, the one way you can tell Marley um, from the other boys is Marley has 
a tan, you can't tell, I don't think you can tell in this lighting, but he has a tan color to his coat, especially when he's, Mozzie, come here. Come here, Mozzie. <laughs> come here. Get back, Mozzie. Get back up here. Um, sit down. Okay, Ma Marley has a tan color to his coat, especially when his hair is short. He has a stripe down his back. He has a straighter hair than the other boys. Um, Miggy, he has a stripe down his back when he's um, cut short as well, but he has more of the salt and pepper look to him than Marley, and so does Mozzie. Now Mozzie, now this may not be helping anyone. <laughs> Because I've, I've been trying to think when people keep asking me this question, how do I tell them apart? I just know them apart because I live with them. But um, Mozzie has a curlier coat when he starts to grow out than all of them. Look at that. <laughs> I don't, the only really dis distinguishing feature is Marley has a tanner coat. Can you tell his coat is different this way maybe? The color. Um, they just all have different faces. <laughs> I don't know. How, I don't know how to, um, to help you distinguish them. Um, I just, I just know cause I live with them. If you were around them all the time, you'd be able to tell them apart too. Um, so it's, um, Marley, Miggy, and Mozzie. So maybe you guys take a little screenshot real quick. <laughs> And just know that this is Marley, Miggy, and Mozzie. And maybe you'll be able to tell them apart in the videos more. But they do have um, distinguishing differences to me in their facial expressions. Yes. And Miggy's the loud mouth. <laughs> Miggy's the loud mouth. Mozzie's more quiet and laid back. So is, so is Marley. And Marley... For those of you who are new subscribers, Marley and Mozzie, Marley, Mozzie have the same dad, different moms. So they're half brothers too. So I don't know really how to explain it. Mickey has a little bit of tan in his coat too, but not as much as Marley. Um, Mozzie's straight um, salt and pepper. I don't know if you can tell. Can you tell on Mickey's back? He has a tan color to his coat too. And see how Mozzie's more salt and pepper? He's really salt and pepper. So, yeah. <laughs> that probably didn't explain much, you guys. I'm sorry I can't explain it better so you guys know who's who. I'm just gonna have to, like I said, take a little screenshot and get to know their faces. And then you'll probably be able to pick them out in videos. And like I said, sometimes in the dark or certain lighting, I get Miggy and Mozzie confused too, especially when their hair's cut really short. So, all right guys, I gotta get going. I've got to go um, clean my husband's office. So yay, fun times, right? Fun times on this Friday, <laughs> cleaning my husband's office. But I got my house all clean yesterday. Laundry is about to finish up. So I won't have to do anything this weekend except relax, maybe go run and do something fun and then play with the boys. So I'll have a nice weekend. Yes. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Hope everyone has a great weekend. Bye.